What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. And, man, I know it's been a long time coming, but Hornets basketball is finally fucking back. And tomorrow, we play the Miami Heat. And um, it's official. We have a game tomorrow, y'all. We have a game tomorrow. Um, and it's like, I was going to make a video about that. I literally made a video last night about do I think we can make the playoffs. I'm still editing that. That's going to be out soon. But then today happened. And Kai fucking Jones happened. And, you know, I've ignored most of the shit that he's had going on. Frankly, I was going to make one video about it when it got really bad. Because um, I couldn't ignore it anymore. But I was too busy to record. I just had, you know, I've got a new job. I, just, I got a lot going on in life right now, so... Now, I don't like negative content anyway. So I just, I never ended up making one. But now he's requested a trade. So I literally have to talk about it because he's requested a trade. Um, he's eligible for a fine for publicly requesting a trade, I believe $150,000. Um, I don't see him having any type of market whatsoever. Any upside that he had has now been pretty much diminished off of the fact that he's not mentally stable. Um, and it's sad. Um, I hate to see it. Um, and it's something where I just hope that he gets the help that he needs. And it's like, I know when it first started happening, you know, his dad was just like, oh, you know, Kai's okay. He's, you know, thank you, guys. And it's like, okay. He's not okay. It, it's, it's been doing this. So it's just snowballed into what has finally reached a trade request when in like, Bro, you're already away from the team. Um, and that's the video I was going to make when they, like, sent away from the team. That was last week. Um, or two weeks ago at this point. I don't even know. But, bro, you're not even on the team for real. Like, what are you talking about? You're requesting a trade. Like, what the fuck, dog? You're on the couch at home, bro. Um, like, uh, okay. But... It is what it is. I do feel sorry for him. Um, I don't think we get anything back. Who Who's going to take the chance when we're probably going to cut him anyway and they can just get him for free? But more than likely, he's going to be on somebody's G League team. Like, who is he going to play for unless he goes to a team like the Thunder or, or you know what I'm saying, just somewhere where he can maybe slide in there and, and get some minutes. But what team wants to deal with that? It's one thing if you're a, a headache, but you're a star. Like James Harden, he's hell, <laughs> but he's still James Harden. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you're Kai Jones. You can't cause problems. And then, like with Book Knight, I feel like Book Knight at one point wanted to request a trade in these last few years, but he just knew, I, I can't, bro. Like, I, he, he hasn't showed shit. How you going to cross the trade? Kai Jones doesn't give a fuck. He's like, yo, I want to trade. I'm going to fucking go. Like, come on, dog. And I knew it was bad when he was drawn on the raw, on the walls in his house. So I knew it was bad. Like, it was like, it was like he's just having a manic episode and just somebody needs to just be there for him, man. Um, I hate to see it. And in this video, it's like, I didn't know because I'm, I've been on such a time crunch, it's hard to get this content out. Part of me just wants to make this a two-part video. Like, Heat tomorrow, Kai Jones request trade. Like, it's just going to be one fucking video because I don't know. Um, I don't know. I might make it two separate videos. But, I mean, with Kai shit, it's not too much to talk about. He requested a trade. I don't think there's a trade market for him. I hope he gets help. That's it. So, yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to focus this video really on what we have going on with the Heat because there's not too much to say about Kai. Like, get well, bro. Um, After that, what do we have to talk about? Um, He's posting his G League stats, calling himself the GOAT. Like, what are we doing, dog? Um, And the Terrence Ross shit had me weak. I'm sorry, bro. He said, is he mentally well? He said, yes, I'm the GOAT. Go watch my highlights. I'm the greatest of all time. So, no, he is not mentally well. Okay. Um. Anyway, moving on from that. Man, we play basketball tomorrow, and um, there are we do have some injuries. Um, you hate to see the season kind of start with the injury report. That's kind of lengthy, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so starters, I mean, starting out, book, um, 
Cody Martin, Leaky Black, um, Tail Maladon, they are out and they're not even going to travel. They're not even going to make the trip. Um, and some stuff, you know, when it comes to get on the plane, stuff gets inflamed and stuff like that. So, you know, that's kind of why they're probably not making the trip just because certain stuff, especially if it's dealing with muscles and tendons, you don't want them to get inflamed with that, like a change in altitude and stuff like that. So, you know, it's no reason you might as well just stay in Charlotte. Um, and then, um, Bryce McGowan's and, and Frank Nittikina are probable to play. Um, they're still on the injury report, but they're probable. So we'll see what happens tomorrow if they improve or if, um, you know, Steve Clifford thinks it's that important to try to incorporate them and, and see what they can do. Um, I do feel like Frank is probably going to play just because he is a new player and we just got to see, is he capable of, you know, backup point guard duties or he's going to be a third point guard is he, you know what is he, what is he going to have a role in this rotation so I feel like he will get some minutes tomorrow for sure because you know we have to see um and also no miles bridges so when the suspension first happened it was you know only for games only for temporary season games now it's being reported that he can't play preseason well, those aren't regular season 10 games. So I think that's fucking bullshit, to be honest, um, because it's going to be an even bigger hit because with him trying to get up to game speed. Now, you know, Steve Clifford and everybody will say he's done great in scrimmages, but it's nothing like the real thing. Being out there on the court against people whose jerseys are a different color than yours, it's nothing like it. So at the end of the day, um, I hate that he can't play in the preseason. I think it's bullshit. Um, because it turns a 10-game suspension into an 18-game suspension, or however many preseason games we have. I don't know if we have eight, or however many preseason games we have. I don't fucking know, but him not playing, it hurts, because that's time that he could have been getting his stamina back and all of that stuff that is now stripped away. And this just the fact that it doesn't come out that he's not eligible to play until a few days before the preseason game, like, that shit's bullshit, um, um, anyway, because, like, cause like, I feel like, is John Moran able to play with the Grizzlies, I'm not sure, I don't want to say he, he, that and be wrong, but somebody comment that down below, like, can John Morant play on the Grizzlies preseason, somebody let me know that, um, anyway, you know, that's just what we have on the slate tomorrow, so I, you know, I mean, the starting lineup is is already pretty much announced. It's going to be Lamelo, Terry, Gordon, PJ, Mark. Um, no surprises there really. Um, and then off the bench at that point, Frank. Um, and then you know, Bryce if he plays, and. Brandon Miller time, you know, I want to see Brandon Miller out there beside NBA players. We saw in summer league what he looked like, kind of, because it's like he's out here with fucking scrubs who aren't even on the team. Now it's like, okay, put him beside some capable NBA players and let's see what he can do. So um, I'm excited just to see Brandon Miller out there on the court and, and, and some real action. Um, Nick Smith Jr., you know, does he play? Um, JT Thor, can he be consistent and hit the three pointer? That's what I would need to see from him. And you know, um, shout out my boy Dorian. I just literally responded to his tweet. All JT Thor has to do is make the open three. That's all he has to be able to do. He doesn't have to be a forty percent three point shooter. Literally, just make them respect the open three. That's all he has to be able to do. Cause his defense is good enough for him to be out there. It's just you can't be a scoring liability. You can't have three points a game. You have to do something. So if he can just, you know, if JT Thor can give me seven points in defense, I'm happy with him being out there on the floor. That's all I need. Um, And then Nick Richards, Mark Williams, already know what we're getting from the center position. I'm happy. Um, And then on top, it's not really nobody else I want to see outside of that. Um, That's all that really matters. Um, Yeah, I, I would like to see Teo, but he's not playing, so... And then Book's not playing. So, we don't, you know, we're going to probably see Nick Smith Jr. at some point. 
Um, I know Steve Clifford said the starters and the rotation players are going to be playing around 14 minutes a game. So just expect that, you know, they're not going to be out there for too, too, too long or maybe in short bursts. But I probably wouldn't expect to see too much from after the first half anyway. Um, unless it's really just a close game and, and maybe the Heat players stay in. I don't I don't know. But um, I, I wouldn't expect to see the guys play out there for too long. But just because we do have all of these injuries with, I mean, four people out, two people possibly out. I mean, that's six people right there. So we could see more real rotation players get minutes tomorrow, if, if um, especially if Bryce and, and Frank don't play. But anyway, I'm wrapping this up. I don't keep this too long. Um, I'm excited to be back making content, even though I just made something last night. Y'all don't know that because I didn't post it. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be back making content. I'm excited for Hornets basketball just to get a chance to just actually watch us. I was watching um, the Lakers and who the other day? Lakers and Warriors the other day uh, or yesterday. Um, I just got done watching Wimby and uh, Chet go at it. So it's just nice to really see, like, basketball is back. I, I love it. But anyways, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Um if new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. If you've been on the channel, like, comment. Don't subscribe. But anyway, you know what I mean. Um, we had like 680, man. We got to get to 700 subscribers. And we probably would have got to it if I wouldn't have started slacking this summer, man. So it's on me. But I appreciate you guys and the support as always. And yeah, man. I feel like we're going to have a great season, man. So it's time for us to lock in. It's, it's time. Anyways, I'll catch you after the game tomorrow, man. Peace. Peace.